sake don't fuck the cameraman at least while he's on me when he's focused on Alex if it gets a bit shaky oh, I'm not so worried I'm gonna take this opportunity to introduce the young man up the back on the drums this is his second gig with us he's the new boy so far he's doing all right what do you reckon give it up for Nick this is a song off our album Darkest Shade I Hate he's gonna kick this one off it's called Bleak, it's happy.
characterized like you know, the same like you know, in those those early years and the late eighties and early nineties. Really, really strong in Melbourne. I uh, can't speak for you know like the rest of the country, but the other thing is in around that point in time, mainstream moved a little bit towards you had the charts were full of Skid Row, Guns N' Roses, even Metallica was charting and you got you know you could go down to the cat house in St Kilda and there'd be two or three thousand people in there on a Saturday night, you know, and they weren't all diehard metalheads but at the time because mainstream people were, you know, into Guns N' Roses, Metallica, that sort of stuff was charting. Um, you know, it was huge then. There was like five, six, seven metal nights running every week. You could go from like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you could take your pick and go to a metal night and there'd be a crowd, there'd be bands, it was awesome. And what, like how would you characterise the crowds? Like? Yeah, really good. You know, it was all, it was it's still very much an us against them mentality. So, you know, yeah. it was like, we were all this little tribe of, we were all into this that the mainstream doesn't like. So, we're you know, all out cast together. Yeah, kind of. And everyone knew each other as well, especially in the, at the Cat House. Here. It's like it went for ten years. It's a, a huge institution here in, in, in Melbourne, and it, you talk to these people from back then; they'll still know other people involved in it. They're still hanging out. It was just um, it was a great time for for Melbourne and um, Australia. <laughs>